a recently published special issue of Famitsu focused on the wonderful world of video game music, where readers from all over Japan voted for their favorite songs. And since Famitsu is Japan's longtime video game magazine, read by thousands in the land of the rising sun, it's safe to say that their top gaming songs feature is indicative of the country's taste in music. Kinda. But it's a popular magazine, so people are going to be referring to this as Bible truth no matter what. Anywho, here's the top 5. Wind Scene from Chrono Trigger Clash on the Big Bridge from Final Fantasy V Tuzanakan from Final Fantasy X Time Scar from Chrono Cross and The Sun Rises from Okami. Just a few takeaways before I start the soundscape tradition of breaking down each track and why it's awesome. Squaresoft rules the RPG music roost. Suck on that, Dragon Quest game OSTs. Why isn't Corridors of Time on this top 5? Probably in the top 10, who knows. And that's pretty much it. This is a pretty awesome list. So let's get right to it. This song plays when you warp back to 680 in the game's version of Earth. So, composer Yatsunori Mitsuda had to come up with something simple and piano-like to portray the medieval ages setting on an overworld map. This particular track comes with a simple yet effective melody originally written for a string quartet. I mean, it's really easy to hum to when you're working with this. Coupled with piano synth key sounds that just feel nostalgic and classical, this Chrono Trigger theme is legendary for all the right reasons. A fun and peppy battle theme from Nobuo Uematsu, played during a key scene involving one of FF's goofy yet kinda dangerous bosses, this playful anthem is fast, frenetic, and not all that serious as evident in this bit. Side note, I also talked a bit about FF battle themes, so do check that video out, it's pretty rad. Fun fact! This incredibly emotional and somber slow piano number was supposed to be in FF9 as a set of songs created by Nobu Uematsu back in the late 90s. But as you can tell from the finished game's aesthetic choice, it's not going to fit. So Square Enix saved that tune for 2001's FF debut on the PS2. And boy did it set the dance macabre influenced mood with its hauntingly beautiful chorus. Yasunori Mitsuda created piece starts off slow with some wind instruments to calm your nerves. Then it ups the crescendo and tempo with some Gaelic style violin and percussions to show that the game means business with its epic intro. The song is masterfully done that it made us almost forget how dated the CG is now. We don't care. Time Scar was the perfect intro song to the eventually nihilistic narrative of this chrono game. I mean, Jesus, it's really dark. Beautiful doesn't even begin to describe the underrated Capcom Zelda clone Okami, which personally did a way better job at being one of the Zelda games that came out a few years after. 
I'm looking at you, Sky with Sword and Twilight Princess. The game's entire soundtrack is epic, colorful, enchanting, traditional, and is a huge love letter to Japan's mythology and history. And then it cats off the final boss fight with its uplifting anthem that uses traditional instruments to get its uplifting point across. Hearing this makes you feel like you can conquer anything and also tear up a little when you realize it's that one theme that encapsulates all of Studio Clover's best qualities when making games. Yeah, it sucks that this game didn't get the sales it needed despite critical acclaim, but at least we have many ports and HD versions of Okami for others to cherish and play. You have no excuse to miss out on the game and its eclectic soundtrack, as well as this cherry on a Sunday musical number that symbolizes national and creative pride among its creators, its fans, and the country they live in. And that's it for this abrupt soundscape entry. For more awesomeness, do check out thekkp.com. Until then, stay tuned for another soundscape discography piece in the near future.